Damien Stewart admits he has made mistakes in the past, which includes breaking the law, but the 31-year-old says he never did anything to deserve a beating from two Chicago police officers while in a holding cell at the 4th District almost four years ago. He just struck me. I don't know why he struck me. I didn't say anything or make no aggressive movements. Stewart says it all started with a traffic stop at the corner of 75th and Stony Island during May of 2019. They were saying that I was pulled over because I had no uh, front and back plates, but the tags had expired. So when you go to the DMV and you, you know, you fail the admission test, they tell you to take your front and back plates off. Stewart says the officers also found an illegal gun in the car. He was arrested and taken to the 4th Police District. Around 3 a.m. in the morning, the officers who originally pulled him over, Gerald Williams and Delgado Fernandez, woke Stewart up to search him for a third time. Even though I didn't want to, I complied. While there is no audio, the holding cell video obtained by Stewart's lawyers shows Officer Williams striking Stewart with a closed fist several times. Officer Fernandez appears to hold Stewart down while Williams delivers delivers more blows to the head. Stewart says he was taken to the hospital but was not physically injured. There's no room in place for that, for that type of uncalled violence on an unarmed man that's already in police custody. It's uncalled for and it's appalling. Community organizer William Calloway is calling for Officer Williams to be fired. Chicago police tells us he was given a 15-day suspension and Fernandez received a 10-day suspension. CPD says both officers have served their time and are back on the street. Stewart filed a civil suit against the police department. He received a $45,000 settlement from the city of Chicago. Stewart says he used some of that money for bail on a 2021 case that also began with a traffic stop. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.